one, identify each half reaction below as either oxidation or reduction. Okay, and then this example, we have Fe3 plus plus three electrons, E minus is electrons, which will yield just the iron metal. All right, so we're talking about oxidation or reduction. Whenever we're talking about oxidation or reduction or redox, which is R-E-D-O-X, the combination of reduction and oxidation, I like to think of this cool mnemonic, Leo the lion says, grr. When I was in school, it just helped me to figure out which one was oxidation and which one is reduction. So Leo, L-E-O, is when you lose electrons, you're undergoing oxidation. So lose electrons, oxidation. Grr, on the other side, gain electrons, reduction. So whenever you're losing the electrons, you're becoming oxidized. Whenever you're gaining the electrons, you're becoming reduced. Now, also, just know that whenever you lose electrons, remember electrons are negative, you're always going to become more positive. On the flip side, whenever you're being reduced or undergoing reduction, since you're gaining negatives, right, electrons are negative, you're becoming more negative. Now, whenever they give you a balanced equation, the easiest thing is to just notice where those electrons are, whether they're on the left side, aka the reactants or the products. Since my electrons are on the reactant side, that means that the iron is taking these electrons in right? They're basically like gaining electrons. They're like absorbing the electrons. Electrons are not being lost on the product side. So whenever you see electrons on the left-hand side, look down here, that's always reduction. That's always the GER part. So whenever you have electrons on the left-hand side, that's reduction. Anytime that you see electrons on the right-hand side, that means that you lost them and that's oxidation. So since these electrons are on the left-hand side, this would be reduction. And it's as easy as that. How's that? Not bad. I hope this helped. Just remember Leo the line says grr, and you should be good to go. I will see you in the next uh, question. And I hope you have a great day. Keep studying hard. If you wouldn't mind, please press, press the subscribe button. Thank you so much. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.